What's up guys? Welcome back to So Many Parks So Little Time, or as I like to call it, smoked pastrami and lettuce. So we are having a really quick one here at Marineland. It's our first time ever in this park, and it's just one of the weirdest, strangest places I've ever been. This is a park where you can go like half a mile in one direction and not come across any rides and then boom, suddenly there's a giant roller coaster there. So we just took the train to the back of the park and we're here for Dragon Mountain, which has the record of being the world's largest roller coaster. Not the tallest, not the fastest, not the longest, the largest. According to Marine Land, uh, this coaster takes up more acreage than any other coaster in the world. It's one that just sort of dunks you in the middle of the wood and just does whatever until you get back to the station. But yeah, it's very unique, very fun, and you can only find it here at Marineland, so let's check it out. This is super spooky. Echo! I cannot see where I'm going. <laughs> So we will Dragon Mountain, and uh, yeah, it definitely falls in as one of the weirdest roller coasters I've ever ridden. It acts so much like a mine train. It's not very fast. It never gets that high off the ground, and there are points where it just sort of almost comes to a complete stop, and yet it goes upside down four times. That being said, it is one of the smoothest aero coasters I've ridden, and it's still fun. Okay, so next is Sky Screamer. It's a 300 foot tower on top of a 150 foot hill. If you put the two of those together, then it's the tallest drop tower in the world, but they make you go up the 150 foot hill. So yeah, we'll see you at the top. Oh, why did I agree to this? <laughs> <sighs> Forget Dragon Mountain. Sky Screamer Mountain is a thing that should be intimidating to people who want to visit.
even get on it, does it? So Skyscreamer is a fairly average uh, SNS drop tower. This one had some pretty good airtime, but what separates this one from other SNS drop towers is the killer view. They took some notes from Big Shot in Las Vegas and basically just put a drop tower really, really high up above a place that's already very scenic and it did wonders for this ride. If you ride this ride, definitely, and I mean definitely go for the false view. It is absolutely worth it. Now, let me just emphasize, it's worth it going up this hill once. Come up this hill, ride the ride, and then you probably never have to come up this hill ever again. Dude, you really get your steps in in this park. I mentioned it before, but all the rides are just really far away from each other. So yeah, be sure to allocate plenty of time when coming here. It's not just a stop in and run out. You're going to be spending time here. So they sent us around the kiddie coaster like a million times. And as my dad put it, it's probably still a shorter ride than Dragon Mountain. So that was Marineland in Niagara Falls, Ontario. And we had fun here. This was a really short visit, but we were able to get on all the rides we wanted and the rides were fun. I feel like this park can improve if it really figures out what it wants to be. It's sort of halfway between a theme park and a marine life park. I think if they go all in on one or the other, then this can be a really spectacular park. And of course, if they build a new roller coaster since, you know, Dragon Mountain is a lot of years old. So yeah, Marine Land, fun visit. Check it out if you're in Niagara Falls. Thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.